hello welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video if you are new here and if you are new here my name is chloe and i do various sims content and this time i want to try out this cast challenge i do like to play with cast so i was like that's gonna be really fun to try out so this challenge only has one rule and it's you cannot undo if you have made any mistake you're just gonna stick to it so this is what i'm gonna do also i'm not gonna go for a lot of custom content for the skin details i'm just gonna go for the most basic thing and we're gonna try this out i'm really excited so this is our base sim oh my god i just hit my elbow honestly she looks really good but i want to try out to change her eyebrows so for example if i wanted to change her eyebrow and i clicked on a swatch that i don't like i just can't undo and go for another one so this is it so first of all i'm gonna start with the eyebrows i want to stick with the thick eyebrows but honestly maybe we can go for another option and if i have chosen one then it has to be it i can't go and choose something else so I'm gonna go for that okay so far so good and only i have to change the swatch once so maybe i'm gonna go to that one okay and then we're gonna go like that i'm really scared because i don't want my fingers to slip and then we're gonna have like a very crazy shape so far so good this is how i'm gonna stick to them just gonna go and drag them here and it's all fine now for the eyes i do like her eyes but maybe i'm gonna make them wider this way is fine and i'm gonna just slightly change the corners and okay i'm just trying to be really careful about that so this is all what i want to do and the lips a little bit bigger i do like big lips and for her nose I don't want to touch it so okay it's not bad okay everything is fine and now i'm gonna go and change her eye color so if i chose purple then it has to be purple and i cannot go for any other options so maybe we're gonna go for brown maybe this is the safest option okay then we have to stick with that and for the skin color i might go with what i'm always confident with which is this one and maybe i'm gonna try to play with the slider i don't know i never use the sliders so yeah it's okay for now and the teeth I'm gonna go with this one okay it's fine and now we're gonna go to the skin details so for the skin details i'm gonna add a skin overlay a blush and eyelashes and that's all because i don't want to make everything complicated and i'm gonna go for what's really safe and i always go for i'm gonna go with the 910 some skin detail okay look at that this is really good and now for the eyelashes i always struggle with choosing the eyelashes so if i chose one then i cannot just go for any other option so i'm gonna go with that oh okay i chose them from the same category oh no oh dear oh we have it here oh my god okay so far so good it's really good and now i'm gonna go for a blush and i have to leave this section i added this lip gloss and i think it's looking really cute and oh my god we have to add the hairlines okay we're gonna go with this one i'm not gonna touch the swatches because i know i'm gonna destroy everything the last thing is gonna be the nose mask i'm like i'm just gonna add blush i added everything but not the blush and okay i went for that i can't undo okay everything is fine everything is fine i promise i promise this is gonna be the last thing oh my god i'm just making everything so funny there we go i can't change anything so now we're gonna go for the hair if i chose one i can't go for any other option and i'm gonna go with the ones that i really like i'm not gonna try out something else and i know that i'm gonna do something different than what i have said so maybe i'm gonna go with this one okay that's fine and i like this hair color so we are safe for now now her body i actually like her body but because we are in a challenge i'm gonna try to maybe randomize it or i'm just gonna try to change it as what i usually go for so this is what i want to do i'm just trying to be really careful with everything what i'm trying to say what is it careful you know you just got me guys and now for the outfit first of all i want to go for the body section and i want to add cleavage overlay i always go for this option so i like it i have to add some tattoos on my sims you know i like tattoos a lot so okay that's gonna be it 
we're fine okay and now for the outfit i really look for something that's cute and not gothic because i usually go for gothic or dark so i'm gonna go for something that's cute i don't know i honestly have no idea what i want to do Maybe we're gonna go with this top and in pink. Okay, um, I should have chosen something else to see the butterfly, but there we go. I chose that. And now for here, I have to be careful because if I chose it, then I can't change it. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, I'm not mad about that. And now we're gonna go for the shoes. Also, I'm gonna go for something that's pastel. Oh, I like these sneakers. Okay, and I'm gonna go for the white one because it looks neat. Now for the nails, I'm gonna go with something that matches the whole vibe. That's it. Okay, everything is fine. We are here in the accessories section. So it's kind of tricky here. If you added something, she might get the glitch over her... Not glitch. I don't know what's called. You know when your sim have an overlay on their lashes because of something. Okay, I don't know what's that. Oh! Oh, I added Billy piercing and I thought this is gonna be an earring. Oh my god, that's my mistake. That's why the piercing section is kind of tricky because you have to be careful. You don't know where it's gonna be placed. I mean, for the piercing, I'm gonna go for a nose ring and okay, it's not really good on her, but I can't undo. So we're gonna stick with that. I have also to quit this section because this section is also dangerous because if you chose something, you can't undo. And I'm gonna go for this earring and i have just realized that i have been choosing the first swatch and then going to the second i'm kind of really smart but you know you got me and i chose that because i was talking and not focusing oh no i don't want this i don't like it on her i mean i like this eyeliner i use it on my sims but not on this sim it's because i was not focusing and now i have to be careful with this step it's dangerous, but I have to choose something. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, it's not bad. I'm gonna stick with that. I'm not gonna change anything. And for the cheeks, I have to be careful. Like, I have to be really careful because I destroyed everything within this eyeliner. And now for the lipstick. This is also dangerous because if I chose one swatch, then we're gonna stick with it. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, it's good. It's good. She looks really cute, but this eyeliner, I swear to God, I can't. I can't control the opacity i didn't touch that we can go for that okay this is not cheating and i'm gonna go and say that's it i don't want to go here to the hat section and try out something that's really weird but you know what i really want to try out and add something because it's gonna be funny at the end of the day so why don't i try i don't usually try a lot of things from this section so maybe i'm scared <laughs> maybe we're gonna go with the headband i think it's called we're gonna go with white okay she's not looking bad she's cute honestly this is how the sim turned out she's really cute but i don't like the eyeliner that was a mistake and everything is really cute you know i tried to avoid many sections because i know i'm gonna mess everything up but for here we're gonna choose maybe she is a romantic sim and for the traits i'm gonna just randomize once and that's all she is neat overachiever and self-assured wow and for the names i'm just gonna go for once in each randomizer you got what i mean so one her name is journey and her full name is journey kirby i hope that i pronounced it all right so this is how our sim looks like i was really stressed out trying not to touch anything because usually when i make a sim i mean everybody does that we go for many options and then scroll back to the option that we like and this time we didn't go for that so i have to be careful so let me know how did she turn out i do like her so much i'm gonna save the sim for any upcoming legacy that i want to try or something or maybe we can choose her for the current legacies or challenges that I'm playing with. She can be a partner with any of my sims. So that's a good idea. So hope that you enjoyed this video so much. It was really fun, not gonna lie. It has been a long time since I have tried a cast challenge. Let me know what other challenges should I try. And I'm gonna see you in another video. Bye!